Good day everyone, this is Jennifer Casabar. Welcome back to my channel. So this video covers guide in writing research paper following APA rules 6th or 7th edition. So what is APA format? APA format is the official style of the American Psychological Association and is commonly used to cite sources in psychology, education, and social sciences. The APA style is originated in a 1929 article published in Psychological Bulletin that laid out the basic guidelines. These guidelines were eventually expanded into the APA publication manual. So why is APA format so important in psychology and other social sciences? By using APA style, researchers and students writing about psychology are able to communicate information about their ideas and experiments in a consistent format. Sticking to a consistent style allows readers to know what to look for as they read journal articles and other forms of psychological writing. So if you have never taken a psychology or social science class before, then you are probably accustomed to using a different style guide such as MLA or the Chicago style. New college students are often surprised to find that after spending years having another formatting style drilled into their heads, many university level classes instead requires APA style. It can be a difficult transition, especially if you have to bounce back and forth between different styles for different classes. Getting a solid grasp of a basic and bookmarking a few key resources can make learning this new formal format a bit easier. Okay, so let's move on to APA basics. We have the APA 7th edition formatting guidelines. So this video, we will focus on the 7th edition rather than the old edition which is the 6th edition because meron na po tayong tinatawag na transition period. So the APA basics, this guide gives a quick rundown of the basic rules of using APA formatting, learn how to write an abstract, format headings, format in text, citations, and construct your reference pages. So we will more focus with the formatting using the 7th edition APA style. So APA 7th edition transition period. Okay, the APA released its new style guide in October of 2018. Okay, prior to that is the 6th edition. So I want you to take note that if your instructor's direction conflict with any APA rules, you need to follow the instructor's directions. Okay? So, we will discuss now the 7th edition title page. Take note, in 7th edition format, student papers do not include a running head unless requested by the instructor or institution. But in our school, we are not requiring running head. Ito po yung nilalagay doon sa may bago po, doon sa pinaka taas ng, uh, ng page or ng kada paper, okay? Which is written in a um, bold and capitalized ang mga letters niya. Okay? So for about the font, in the 7th edition, a variety of fonts are permitted. Yung font style na tinatawag natin. Sans serif fonts such as 11 point calibre, 11 point aerial, or 10 point lucida sans unicode. Serif fonts such as 12 point times new roman, 11 point georgia, or uh, normal 10 point. 
computer modern. Okay? We recommended these funds because they are eligible or they are legible and widely available and because they include a special character such as symbols and Greek letters. Okay? But in our university, we are permitting 12 point times New Roman. Okay? So, there are a lot of uh, fonts permitted using the APA format. Kasi po, dapat po, pagka sa mga font style, dapat talaga available yung mga special characters. Especially sa mga numeric terms and ganun din yung pangapaglalagay ng tawag dito doon sa part ng numbers, yung mga symbols, yung mga signs, and the like. So, dapat available siya doon sa font style na ginamit mo. But particularly in our university, we are using the Times New Roman 12 point. So, here is the example of a 7th edition title page. Okay? So, we have here the paper title. Ayan. Paper title, we have also here the page number. The name of the author. Uh, pero dahil hindi kayo, uh, dahil undergraduate yung gagawin yung research paper, no need to put the affiliation. Okay? No need to put. Just put the uh, name of the authors. Okay? And also the course, the instructor's name, and also the due date of the uh, research paper. Okay. And next, we will move on now to 7th edition abstract format and the content. But take note, in APA 7th edition, abstract and keywords are not typically required for student papers. Okay. But in our institution, we are requiring abstract. Okay? So, abstract needs to provide brief but comprehensive summary of the contents of your paper. Okay? So, brief lamang siya, short lamang siya, but it includes the comprehensive and the most important content of your research paper. It provides an overview or the summary of the paper and helps reader decides whether to read the full text. Kasi minsan, uh, readers, nagpo-focus sila sa abstract kasi nandun na yung pinaka summarization no entire paper kasi mga important matters or mga important contents po yung mga nilalagay sa part ng abstract. You need to limit your abstract for a maximum of 250 words. Okay? Especially sa abstract, uh, um, usually nilalagay dyan a few contents for introduction, the research methodology, your population, your, of course, your research problem, and the conclusions and recommendations. Okay. The abstract contents addresses the following usually one to two sentences per topic. So, ito po, uh, number one is the key aspects of the uh, literature review. Yan nga po yung sa part ng introduction natin or the background of the study. We have also the problem under investigation of the research question. Ano ba yung statement of the problem mo? You need to put it on your abstract. You need also to clearly state your hypothesis. Okay? And methods use yung research methodology nyo, including brief description of the study design or research design, the sample and the sample size. Yan na po yung population ninyo. Okay, the study results, the implications, examples, why this study is important, the application of the results or the findings, kung saan po magiging applicable yung magiging findings ng research ninyo. 
Okay, so yun po yung content ng abstract. Napaka-short lang talaga siya, but sabi ko nga, it includes the most important uh, content of the entire research paper. So, abstract format, your abstract should appear in the same font as the rest of your paper. So, ibig sabihin, kung ang ginamit mo po from the beginning is um, Times New Roman 12 point then, for the entire paper, gagamitin mo po dyan ay Times New Roman 12 point. Okay? One inch margin on all sides. Placement, second page of the paper. Bakit second page? Kasi po sa una ay yung title page. Title page and then the abstract. For APA format po yan. Okay? Section label. Ang abstract po lalagay po sa center and in bold. Written on the first line of the page. So, ibig sabihin, pinaka-first line, pinaka-taas ng paper, ilalagay po yung word na abstract in the center or in the middle. And then, you need to uh, make it bold. Okay? Text begins one line below the section label. So, ibig sabihin, abstract, mag spacing ka ng isa before the text. Okay? Not indented. Written as a single paragraph and you need to make it as double space. So, take note, double space po ang part ng abstract. But actually, in all sides, or I mean in the entire paper, we are requiring a double space talaga. Okay? Next, let's move on to 7 edition APA body text or headings formatting. Okay? Sa body text naman po tayo. So, a handful of additional formatting changes are recommended in the 7th edition. So, this includes the following. So, like what I have said a while ago, running heads are no longer required for student papers. Okay? But professional papers include a running head on every page, including the title page. However, the running head labels use in the 6th edition is no longer used. The running head is written in all capital letters. So, ibig sabihin, capital letters, lahat. The running head should either be identical to the paper's title or shorten form of the title that conveys the same idea. Ibig sabihin po niyan, yung running head po, Pwede pong identical or kaparehas ng mismong title ng research ninyo or pwedeng mas na-shorten siya basta the same po ang ibig sabihin doon sa title ninyo. Okay? Including, um, basta hindi po nag exit ng 50 characters including spaces and punctuation. The section labels for abstract and reference a list follow the uh, conventions for level 1. Example, in addition, in being centered and written in title case, they are also in bold face. So, lahat po ng title is nakabold talaga siya. Okay? Font uh, guidelines are now somewhat uh, looser in order to account for differences in specification and user's accessibility needs. So long as the same font is used throughout the entire paper, a variety of fonts are acceptable. But, but as much practicable, mas maganda po kung for the entire paper, iisa lang po ang gagamitin na font. Okay. We have here the 7th edition APA format for body text and headings. Ayan. So, dapat, for level 1, centered, okay, ibig sabihin, nasa gitna, tapos nakabold, title case heading, text starts as paragraph. Okay? For level 2, flash left, bold face title case heading, text start a new paragraph. For level 3, flash left, Bold face italic, title case heading, text start as new paragraph. 
Okay, and then for uh, level 4, indented. So, ibig sabihin, papasok siya. Bold face, title case, heading, ending with a period, paragraph text, continues on the same line as the same paragraph. And for level 5, of course, indented pa rin yan. Bold face, italic. Title case, heading, ending with a period. Paragraph text continues in the same line as the same as paragraph or the same paragraph. Let's move on to the 7 edition or APA 7 edition reference page. Okay? Yung references ninyo kung saan nyo kinuha yung mga laman ng research paper ninyo. Okay? But you need to take note in APA 7 edition, the running head is no longer require, required for student papers. So, inuulit ko lang po yan. Page set up, your reference should begin on a new page, separate from the text of the essay. So, take note. Basta po, nag-start na po ang reference ninyo, dapat po sa panibagong papel or panig panibagong page nyo ilalagay yan. Whether malaki pa pong space ng previous na page, still you need to put it on a separate page. The word reference appears in the center. Okay? Gitna. In bold at the top of the page. Okay? Do not underline or use quotation marks. Huwag pong lalagyan ng quotation marks sa gitna ng reference. Okay? All text should be double, uh, double space, just like the rest of your essay. No extra space between citations. Okay. Citations are listed in alphabetical order. Whichever font you choose, the selected font should be used throughout the entire paper. Kagaya ng sinabi ko, kung ano po yung ginamit mong font style dun sa mga uh, naunang, Pages, that will be also the font style na gagamitin mo for your reference. Here's the example of a 7 edition sample reference page. Okay, so we have for book reference, we have also a report and journal article reference. So, if you cannot uh, clearly uh, see in my presentation, you can um, you can look on your module. Okay? That is the 7th uh, edition sample reference page. Okay? And next, sample citations. Citation key. Use this key as guide for what goes where in your citation. Your citation needs to show the who, when, what, and where of your source material. So, ibig sabihin kasi ng citations kung saan mo po kinuha yung mga paragraph, yung mga supports, yung literature review mo doon sa research paper mo. So, sa citation mo po, nakasaad po dyan yung uh, apat na uh, W's or yung who, when, where, and what. Okay? Yung source ng material mo. So, we have here the sample citation. So, ito po yung sinasabi ko kanina. Okay? So, where, uh, every citation should tell the reader, four crucial things in the following order. Okay, so dapat sunod-sunod daw po ito. Number one, who wrote this article? So, ibig sabihin kung sino yung author. So, example, ito po si Woldridge, MB, and Shapka, J. Okay, yan yung number one. And then, when was it written? Kailan? So, what particular year? Yan po, 2012. What is the title of the article, post, or document? So, ito po yung title. Playing with Technology, Mother and Toddler Interaction, Scores Lower During Play with Electronic Toys. And then, number four, 
where did appear kung kumbaga sa ang journal yon na publish okay journal of applied development psychology okay so yan po yung sample ng citations natin pag wala pong author or name yung ginamit mong citation move the article title to the front of the citation all other elements remain in the same order. Kagaya po na una. Pag wala pong author, kagaya na ito, di ba, meron dyan. Yung title po na ito, magmove po dito. So, yan po yung example. Walang author, kaya nagmove na po kagad yung title nung uh, journal or yung source ng citation mo. But, all other aspects or elements should remain in the same order. Okay? Ayan, example po yan. The author, nalagay mo yung pangalan, kung dalawa sila or tatlo, you just put the sign, the and, and then the year, when, kung kailan po uh, na-publish yung book, title of the article or title of the book or periodical including the volume number and issue number, including the pages. Ang example naman po ng citation sa mga YouTube video, for example, kinuha mo po sa YouTube video, yung uh, nilagay mo doon sa research paper mo, you just follow the format. You need to put the name of the yung YouTuber, kung kailan po in-upload yung YouTube video, and then the title of the YouTube video, including the link. Okay. Citation for book, kagaya po ng kagaya ng ah, kanina, syempre yung pangalan ng author, yung year ng publication, number ng work, at yung publisher. Yan, example po niyan, Calfay R. That C and Valencia R. That R. 1991 APA Guide to prevent, uh, Provide Manuscript for Journal Publications, American Psychology Association. And lastly, citation for blog spot or blog posts. Okay, Campbell, 2016, September 12. The Truth About Undocumented Immigrants and Taxes. The Atlantic. Tapos yung link nandyan na din po sa baba. Citation for online journal article. The same. Nandyan po yung example. The author, the year, the title. And also the journal. Uh, yes. The publication. Citation for an article with no author credited. Article title, uh, move in the beginning of citation. So, yan na po. Pag wala pong author, mauna na po kagad yung title, yung year, tapos yung publisher. Okay? So, yun po yung uh, APA formatting. So, talaga yung discussion natin for this video, eh, nag-focus po talaga siya sa pag pagbibigay ng tamang format na naka-align po sa 7th edition ng APA format or the American Psychology Association. Okay? Mostly, in, uh, para po mas madali po siyang intindihin, pag nagbabasa po kayo ng articles, talagang mas uh, rene-require ang APA format. Okay? So, that's all for this uh, morning. So, to be updated for more video, can you please click the subscribe button and the notification bell. So, thank you and stay safe.